Mother's sacrifice in the line of duty gripped Omaha and the entire country. Tonight, Carrie Orozco's daughter hits a milestone. Olivia Orozco turned two today. As she grows, her mother continues to touch lives. Reporter Megan Stewart caught with, up with those who served with Officer Orozco and shares their story. All across Omaha, police are tweeting a happy birthday to a certain two-year-old who is the daughter of Officer Carrie Orozco. Um, she came down earlier today with Hector and uh, we just kind of showed her off a little bit and she walked around. Omaha Police Officer Jessica Swanson is talking about this adorable two-year-old. She looks so much like her mama. Olivia is the daughter of Carrie Orozco, a dedicated police detective killed on duty in May of 2015. It was her last shift before Orozco was scheduled to go on maternity leave. Swanson says there are days it's tough thinking of her friend. I think for a couple months, or probably the first couple years after Carrie, we kind of, um, you kind of spoke about her in hushed tones, kind of, and with some sort of reverence. and. And now it's a little bit more easy to talk about it. It's a little bit um, easier to talk about her without tears and without this just horrible gut feeling. Orozco's legacy is continuing to touch others. A bus was donated to the Boys and Girls Club of the Midlands, and the group has awarded two scholarships in Orozco's name. It was established uh, through her family um, to um, ensure that you know, Officer Carey's a legacy lives on. The Boys and Girls Club was just one of the many organizations listed as Carey's causes, which are near and dear to Orozco's heart. By all means, we, we wish she was here with us physically, um, but, you know, we want to thank the family too to make sure that her legacy lives on through the club members. And for this two-year-old, may she grow up in a world her mother worked to make a better place. She in my opinion, changed the uh, the face of the city. Already $118,000 has been donated to Carrie's causes. More events are planned okay. this spring. Reporting in Omaha, Megan Stewart, KMTV Action 3 News. Carrie Orozco's death at the hands of a violent felon sparked a national movement for change. Tonight we learned that effort is getting new life. Congressman Don Bacon's office confirms he plans to reintroduce the Carrie Orozco Act. The bill would allow the spouses of first responders killed in the line of duty access to a quicker process of becoming an American citizen. Former Omaha Congressman Brad Ashford and Iowa Congressman David Young made the push last year as Orozco's husband, Hector, waited for his green card. Bacon's office says he will push for the bill after Congress returns from next week's recess.